SORCOM has designed a hardware echo canceller module for its award-winning Astrobank telephony interfaces and asterisk-based IP PBX appliances. The module provides a high level of echo cancellation and voice enhancement while reducing load on the CPU as compared to OSLEC, the software-based echo cancellation solution provided in a standard asterisk framework. Before you configure a system that concludes the ZORCOM hardware-based echo cancellation module, you should be aware of a few design limitations. First of all, the hardware echo canceller module is not supported in the XR1000 models. And secondly, for certain telephony module combinations, not all port types will be able to use the hardware echo canceller. Here are some possible scenarios. In case 1, when the chassis includes both a digital module, E1T1 or BRI, and one or more FXO modules, the hardware echo canceller will not work for the FXO modules. Here are some recommendations. If using the hardware echo canceller for the FXO channels is not crucial, then software echo cancellation should be configured for those specific channels in the DADI configuration. If, on the other hand, hardware echo cancellation is crucial, a separate Astrobank should be used for the FXO modules. Keeping the digital modules and the FXO modules in different chassis will allow the hardware echo canceller to function for all of the ports. In case 2, if the chassis includes one or more FXO modules and one or more FXS modules and the unit is not the data synchronization master, the hardware echo counselor will not work on the FXS modules. SORCOM drivers automatically determine per configuration which unit should be the sync master. All other devices are synchronized to the sync master. The synchronization algorithm chooses a sync master according to the following priorities. E1T1 connection, BRI connection, chassis with at least one FXO module, chassis with FXS module. Now we'll look at some examples of hardware echo canceller behavior and provide some recommendations. In the first example, the configuration consists of an E1T1 chassis and an FXS plus FXO chassis. The sync master role will be given to the E1T1 device and the FXS plus FXO chassis will work as a sync slave. In this case, the hardware echo counselor will not handle the FXS ports on the FXS plus FXO chassis. In example 2, we have a configuration of one E1T1 chassis and one FXO only chassis. In this case, the hardware echo counselor will handle all ports on both chassis. In example 3, the configuration consists of a chassis with one or more FXO modules and another chassis with FXS and FXO modules. If the first chassis is defined as the sync master, then the FXS ports on the second chassis will not be handled by the hardware echo canceller. In example 4, we have the same configuration as in the previous example, except that the chassis with the FXS and FXO modules is defined as the sync master. In this case, the hardware echo canceller will handle all ports on both chassis. In our last example, for a configuration with two FXO only chassis, the hardware echo canceller will handle all ports on both chassis. And now for our recommendations. 
When hardware echo cancellation is required for all ports, including FXS ports, make sure the units are configured homogeneously. In other words, all analog units are populated with either FXS or FXO modules, but not mixed. If there is a chassis containing both FXS and FXO modules, make sure this chassis is the sync master. You can refer to Daddy documentation for instructions. Note, this is possible only when there is no digital E1T1 or BRI equipment in the configuration. If there is a chassis containing both FXS and FXO modules, and it is not possible to define it as the sync master, software echo cancellation should be defined for the FXS ports that are not supported. The TSORCOM licensing mechanism automatically detects configurations that have unsupported ports and does not charge the hardware echo cancellation license fee for these specific ports. We hope this presentation has answered all your questions about configuring the hardware echo cancellation module. If not, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you for your attention.